Good evening, by the way. No, he doesn't. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome day. A positive mental attitude can clear away all obstacles which stand between you and your major purpose in life. Let's do it. <laughs> it's go time. Positive mental attitude. This is me in Shanghai. Um, first day. Offer a Tai Chi class. Trying out my new toy here. Let's go. Hey guys, what is up? So after I came to the hotel after having a meal last night, please see the previous video here if you didn't see it. I looked out my hotel window and there was like a pyramid roof in the building behind us and so many bright lights were coming out of it. Rays of light shooting everywhere and I was so inquisitive. So I asked a couple of the guys who were in the hotel, like, do you want to go and check it out? And uh, their response was, no, we've had a long travel. We want to go to bed, get up early. So getting up early wasn't an issue, but I was too inquisitive and I wasn't tired to sleep. So Chris is curious. Chris goes out. Chris has a look. And what transpired goes into the, what the F just happened? because around the back of the building, there was an escalator with a security guard. And I went to go down to the escalator to enter the building. I could hear lots of loud music, and I was told in Chinese that I wasn't allowed. And I thought, why not? Surely if I'm a Westerner, the assumption is I'm traveling, I'm a tourist, I have money, therefore, why would I not be allowed in? But anyway, I digress. There was another security guard down by the entrance door. He called somebody on his walkie-talkie. He beckoned me with his hand to go down the escalator. He let me into the building. And I can only say, guys, that this building was behind mine. And if you see outside the hotel, it's, it's a poor area to look at. From outside, it didn't look like anything special, but the guy opened the doors and it looked like I was in the Ritz Hotel. It was wall to wall marble. There were pillars everywhere. There were so many beautiful women with old Chinese guys hanging off them. And somebody had mentioned earlier, I guess it went into my subconscious, somebody had mentioned to me earlier that it was a karaoke bar. So I went in there, I entered with that expectation. So there were four Chinese girls sitting down with headsets on. I tried to speak to them in English, they didn't understand me. They, they called somebody else to speak to me. She said, how many girls do you want? I thought it was a karaoke bar and I thought initially, I just want to check it out. So I was moving my glasses on my head saying, I just want to watch. Now that is the funny part because it turned out to be a whorehouse. My spidey senses were tingling when I was led down a corridor. It was a huge marble corridor that had no lights. They were lighting up the corridor as we were walking down it. And I entered a room, two girls entered behind me and I was given a menu, asked how many girls I wanted and for what duration. So I'm in a whorehouse, the girls saying, how many girls you want? And I'm saying, I just want to watch. <laughs> yeah. In the moment, it created a huge amount of confusion and bizarre facial reactions and an even better breakfast story this morning. <laughs> so today, after leaving other people in the hotel, Onto the Tai Chi class, I'd contacted the facilitator who'd given me instructions on where to go when leaving the tube station. As mentioned before, the tube situation was really easy, just colour coded. Today we're starting off with the blue line, 
The pink chairs on the end are for people who have uh, ability issues. Yes, here's my trusty map. I like to have uh, PDF maps, but I also like to have just a, a backup in case you have any issues with battery and stuff. So after a couple of days, it's usually written on so much that it's uh, it's unreadable. <laughs> I have to resort back to a PDF. So I really enjoy being not only in different countries, but being on different underground systems, whether you want to call it the tube, the metro, the underground. They all vary hugely. And I would say my least favourite would be London, just because it's so old that it's grimy and it's dirty. The seats are usually made of material which never really get cleaned, whereas, as you can see here, these are made from plastic, so uh, I'm not sure what happens on them, but they can be easily wiped off. <laughs> So I was pretty excited to get up early this morning and make the day happen, set my goals for the day. Number one was to go to this Tai Chi class, which I'd actually sourced before I'd left England. And what better country to do Tai Chi than China? So I was really excited to start my journey in this way, guys. Cool respect. Yeah, so let's see if we can get it a little bit quicker. Ready.
so I'd reach my destination guys for the Tai Chi class. The journey from my hotel took a little under 90 minutes and the Tai Chi class was so awesome that I wanted to include all the footage for you here right now. Next we uh, and that was it in its entirety guys. Um, the class lasted for 45 minutes, but unfortunately I wasn't allowed to shoot any footage inside, which makes sense because they're a school, etc. So my Tai Chi. Tai Chi. Tai Chi. Tai Chi. So my Tai Chi class, which was, which was really, pretty cool, nice experience. First day in, Tai Chi class, nice. Very nice people, awesome instructor, very nice.